Hello everybody. Welcome to the second video session. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you sum of series of numbers. You may be wondering why we have to use MSP430 microcontroller to find out sum of series of numbers. We have a specific objective set in this lab exercise. This exercise will help you to learn and understand the array data type and the logical and relational operators in a C programming language. And also, you should be able to understand to write a program to find the sum of series of numbers. And you will be working on this task like to find out a proper algorithm and also to come up with a solution for arranging in ascending order this is the task for you and also you will be learning how to debug the c program on code composer studio there are some useful document these documents will help you to you know understand better about the launchpad and also the data sheet of the microcontrollers This is a launch pad which we are using and you have to connect the launch pad through the USB cable to the PC. You may need to go through about this introduction and all uh, which is trying to tell you like why we have to use the data type like especially array data type and what are the types of array data type these informations are available here. You may need to go through these uh, questions and you need to answer before you come to the lab section. Let me introduce a kind of algorithm to get a sum of series of numbers. Let us say now we want to add five numbers which has been stored in an array. The result need to be saved in a variable called sum. So we have to initialize, we have to load the count and also initialize the array values and the sum. And then we have to add the first value from the array to the variable called sum. Then we have to increment the array index. That means it's going to point out the second number. And again add the second number and again increment the array index this has to go on until the index approaches to the count so once it's equal then we have to store the result you may need to work on this uh, algorithm for developing the ascending order and you need to program it to arrange the numbers in an ascending order. So once you are familiarized with the algorithm, you need to create the project by using the Code Composer Studio. And try to give you the meaningful file name, the project, and choose the target carefully and the microcontroller family also and choose a empty project you will see a screen something like this give a project name and the project family and choose a proper microcontroller and once you say finish open the tree structure here and double click on the main.c file and this is your C program. These steps I already completed like creation of project and the source code and all and you can see over here. This is a project and this is a C file. Now first thing is this is a header file 
and this is our main function we are writing our source code within the main function and we just stop the watchdog timer and this is the first statement which is related to our program and you can see here I include a keyword called volatile volatile means it will declare the variable in a RAM and we given here care care means is a character it can take only 8 bit whereas we are not say here unsigned care in that case it inclusive of both positive and negative so the maximum number of count which we can give here is only 127 and same way we declared index and also we initialize the sum also to 0 when you add if the total result goes above 127 you may get a wrong answer here because of the data type what we declared here so we have a numbers here is given as a array name as a num and we have five numbers one to five and if you are aware if I want to refer the first number I can say it is num of 0 it's index and second number is num of 1 and so on and to start with that as I mentioned we start index as a 0 in the first case the condition is something like this 0 is less than 5 yes true the program goes into the body of the while loop initially the value of sum is 0 and num of 0 num of 0 is here as what 1 so 1 plus 0 will be added there is nothing but 1 and the 1 will be assigned to the sum the index will be incremented index is initially 0 from that it will go to 1 then what happens it, the program moves on to the while loop again to check the condition it checks now is 1 less than 5 yes is true that means it goes to the summation statement again at present the value of sum is 1 so 1 plus num of 0 now it is num of 1 because we incremented index by 1 so it is num of 1 so what is the num of 1 it is 2 so 2 plus 1 is going to be 3 now 3 will be assigned to the sum and then the index will be incremented by 1 that means it goes to now 2 it goes on into this looping and final condition will be something like this is 5 less than 5 it's going to be false and it will come out of the loop hope you may understand it starts with the 0 1 2 3 4 is the maximum number when it comes to 5 less than 5 the while loop will exit and it will go to the end of the program now let me show this one before that we have to compile the program and then just click on debug at present I connected the hardware kit to my computer however I have not activated the video display here as we are not going to observe any results on the LED or any other hardware I am going to show you only how to debug by using the code composer studio now you can see here there is a variables expressions and registers I have shown in the last experiment how to see the values of regis registers now I am trying to show you how to you know debug the variables and how to see the content of variables when the program is you know running on MSP 430 now the program is stopped over here let me set a breakpoint here by double clicking over here there's a breakpoint has been set and you can see 
these are all the variables which is available in our program count index sum and number now let me change all this format as a right click on the values say as a hex even you can also mention as a decimal is up to your convenience yeah now just first time you click on this resume and you can see the program will be stopped in this point and these variables yet to initialized when i click on now step over you can see the count will be assigned with the value 5 over here you will see that as a 5 and sum is 0 when you click further you can see the 5 values are arranged in an array and the index will be 0 in the next step so it goes into the condition checking and the sum operation the first one is 0 plus 1 so the 1 is assigned in a sum the index will be incremented now it's 1 it's 1 less than 5 yes, the condition is true again it goes inside a while loop and again the numbers are added so it goes on into the looping up to the index 4 please note the answer is in hexadecimal so we got now 15 now you can see the index will be incremented as a 5 now the system checks the condition 5 less than 5 and obviously it's a false so it comes out of the loop and ends the program so hope you understand the purpose of having a variables in our program and also how to debug and how to do a kind of a simple array manipulation you may need to sit and work out to find a proper algorithm to arrange the numbers in a ascending order and you need to program it and you need to debug by using this setup and see how the interchanging of numbers goes on in a sorting mechanism that's the task which you have to carry out in this lab session hope you understand and enjoy this video session you may need to provide a kind of a reflection having these points Thanks for watching, see you again.